We understand that no one out there likes to keep a dragon in her actions, but girl, who gave y'all the permission to be transphobic towards her? Kinda embarrassing to be transphobic in 2021, just saying. The fact that I never expected myself to defend Nikita Dragon in my videos says a lot about Nikita already because we all know how she's one of the most problematic influencers out there and how she has a pick me type of girl. Yeah. I mean, we have seen her blackfishing, changing races, being racist, and even involving herself in dramas just to be in the spot. Literally, who's more versatile than her? But aside from this, I do want to talk about a very serious topic in today's video, and that is people being transphobic towards Nikita. I know so many trans people, including Nikita herself, deal with a lot of hate on a daily basis, and it actually upsets me how no one really acknowledges this topic anymore, because it's really necessary to spread awareness about it every day. Just recently, you guys, the influencer Taylor Caniff, who's known for being problematic as heck, decided to post a very disturbing video of him filming Nikita in public while misgendering her as well as shaming Nikita's friends for helping her. Just check this out. My boy's hooking up with a guy right tonight. He said, F it. I'm hooking up with a man. I don't give a f I'm down bad right now. I'm down tremendous. And I tell a security guard, I'm like, yo, bro, like, it's none of my business, but like I just I just don't I feel like you guys are just like a crazy fact that you guys wouldn't know. Like, did you guys know that that was that's a dude? Um, and they they absolutely looked like they I looked like I just threw a, a stun grenade in the in the back of the security lounge there. They're like, bro, what? I'm like, yeah, that was a, a dude, and they could not believe it. And they're like, bro, our boy John needs to get a phone call right now. The disgusting part about this, y'all, is that Taylor didn't have the audacity to share this video publicly as he posted it between him and his close friends. But luckily, one of his friends was able to screen record and post it on social media just to raise awareness on how influencers can be secretly transphobic. Now, here's when the situation started getting on everyone's nerves because after Taylor got exposed for making transphobic comments about Nikita, he proceeded to post a video on his Instagram stories of him pretending to cry about the situation. Taylor Crownif, weren't you posting about Pride Month like last year? These people really be showing fake love for likes nowadays. Anyways, unfortunately, this whole situation gained a lot of attention on social media. Of course, Nikita Dragon stumbled upon the video and decided to respond in a video to Taylor being transphobic, where she addressed how she constantly is threatened for just living her life. This is what it's like to be trans. My livelihood is constantly threatened by just living my life as a trans person. And I'm so embarrassed to even be showing this video, but it's reality. It's what's really fucking happening in the world. I try to be strong for you guys and hold my head up high and act like I'm not terrified that something like this will happen to me. This is how trans people die. This is how trans people die. Nikita continued to address the situation in her video by saying how Taylor made fun of her guy friend for being into her when he was only trying to help her get into the car. And guys, Nikita even claimed that her guy friend's life is now threatened as well. It just takes that one ignorant transphobic comment to threaten my entire livelihood. And more so than that, I fear for the people that are with me. The fact that it was just a guy friend helping me get into a car and all of a sudden this man wanted to video it, make fun of the guy who was helping me tell the security guards about it like his life is now threatened as well this time it was me next time it could be somebody else somebody not as lucky we must stop trans hate because it leads to trans violence and people lose their lives or even worse they take their own lives because experiencing things like this just breaks my heart and my entire world and it's disgusting and i won't stand for it I love you guys. Thank you so much. As soon as Nikita made this response video, a lot of people, including tons of celebrities and influencers, started supporting her for being brave enough to speak up about the situation. And y'all, here's what they had to say in response to Taylor being transphobic towards Nikita. Sending you love. So, so much love. And during Pride Month, that's truly disgusting. Sending you my love. This guy is the definition of what a loser is. Love you, Nikita. Woman? Yes, and more. This is a goddess. 
boys like him wish. I love you, Nikita. As much as we all dislike Nikita's actions, we can't just pretend that she didn't impact a lot of her fans, including trans people as well, who struggle with being themselves in real life. But after Nikita threw this huge bomb at Taylor, thousands of people started leaving hate comments towards Taylor under his Instagram pictures telling him to apologize immediately for making transphobic comments. And guys, he literally decided to make the situation even worse for himself after he decided to make a tweet after saying he's bisexual. I'm bisexual. Okay? Your identity does not excuse you from being transphobic. With that being said, you guys, Taylor took to Twitter to drag the situation even more by making fun of people calling him out for it. But of course, he had an instant regret later on after tons of people came after him. So he decided to delete them from his Twitter account. I speak facts, facts, facts. Taylor Caniff tweeting, I'm bisexual after Nikita calls him out for being transphobic is an example of transphobia within the LGBTQ plus community. Do MF better. Facts. Wait, what is going on? Ugh. I never wanted someone to be deplatformed so bad. While Taylor was having the best time of his life, getting all the attention he asked for, Nikita, on the other hand, was tweeting about how she fears being around men nowadays and how one transphobic comment could affect many trans people's lives. This man is on his live saying, I'm doing this for clout and he's bisexual. Sir, you haven't been relevant since Macken. Sit your transphobic ass down. It's sad I even have to give you any kind of attention. I fear even being around a man as a trans woman, let alone date one publicly. His life now is at risk for being involved with a trans woman. It's so sad. Trans women are women. Not a minute after Nikita started raising awareness about this topic, Taylor Caniff made a decision to go on live and apologize to Nikita for his transphobic comments towards her. And guys, he literally had the audacity to blame people and his close friends for leaking the footage of him misgendering Nikita. Oh, cool. Like, I was never going to say anything. Like, my boys knew I was never going to same thing i'm like yo it's just like obviously unfortunate situation i have people on my close friends that are obviously clout written will murder themselves because of this and that's when i was like yo well you haven't thought about so that's one side think about the other side if you accidentally you know you do your thing and you end up there and then the next day you realize what you've done right and then and, and, you know i know the i know the security there so that's that's the other part people don't understand and no one does want to understand every part of the situation nor understand that like, yo, I'm obviously making a joke to 140 people on my close friends. Like people don't want to understand that part. I'm not a clout chaser. The clout chaser is you guys. You guys going for my close friends, screen recording my and then uploading it and then playing a sympathy story like you haven't been doing this since 2015. After he proceeded to embarrass himself even more by blaming his friends for all of this mess, he then went on YouTube and posted another video where he apologized to Nikita again. And of course, Taylor had to start making a mess in his video after he said the internet is soft, blamed his friends again for leaking the video, and claimed that he's not transphobic because he's friends with Tana Mojo and kissed his straight guy friend in the past. What the actual The internet is one of the softest places in the world right now. More softer than a, a Tempur-Pedic mattress. My one issue with the, the close friend stuff is, is that was for a select group of people that I wanted to see the video. And I didn't think anything was wrong with that video. Um, and I guess the one thing that is wrong with that video is that I called her a man. There's really no way for me to win in this situation. It's really just a lose-lose situation. And my next thing comes is the a homophobe, that I'm a homophobe and that I'm transphobic. Well, I got news for you. Let's just grab a clip real fast off the internet when you type in Taylor Kinnett real fast. It's a boxing. Oh! Yeah, she just kissed oh. <laughs> Well, as you guys can tell from that clip right there, I can't be very homophobic. You know, I, I really can't. Like, that's clear evidence for you that's already been posted before this ever happened. Um, and obviously, I've already dealt with these issues with like uh, Tana Mongolia. I think that's how I say her last name. I've been hanging out with her for over the course of the last five months. She also called me out for this same thing. She's now one of my great friends. They know that I'm not actually transphobic, nor do I have, you know, anyone can be whoever they want to be. Here is when things started to get out of hand because as soon as Taylor decided to involve the problematic influencer Tana Mojo in his video, a lot of people started noticing that Tana has actually made a video about Taylor in the past where she claimed that he is transphobic. And guys, what made this situation even weirder yeah. is that people also noticed that Tana became friends with Taylor this 
here despite how she made a full video on Taylor exposing him for being transphobic. Have you ever seen twin clowns? As y'all can imagine, when Tana got immediately involved in the situation for being friends with a transphobic guy, a lot of people started reminding the entire internet how Taylor Caniff was also transphobic towards Tana's friend, Trevi Morin but she chose to be friends with Taylor instead, and guys, this made Tana address the situation on Twitter by saying that she was never really friends with Taylor. Oops, he posted that without me knowing these are obvi just fan energy party pics. I thought he grew, I don't condone anything he did, and I'm so hurt, I love Miss Nikki till I die. Fan energy, are you his fan? Cause you took the picture, not him. Babe, he asked for them. After Tana was brave enough to lie about not being friends with Taylor, a random girl on TikTok had the confidence to expose Tana for being friends with Taylor this entire time. All right, we're here, just sitting in the car. I want you to show me if you can get far. And guys, this made Tana herself make a comment under the TikTok video saying this. I took a fan pic, I was drunk, relax. She even went on social media to throw shade at Taylor for being transphobic by liking and reposting these on her stories. Y'all think it's hot today? Wait till you go to hell for being transphobic. Please unfollow Taylor Caniff if you care about trans people. Anyways, enough of Tana Mojo, let's get back to exposing this crusty dusty man called Taylor Caniff because not only is he known for being transphobic for years, but he's even known for having tons of homophobic tweets in the past as well that are somehow not deleted yet because I'm pretty sure he thinks being bisexual is an excuse to throw the F slur and make homophobic comments. After this whole situation left tons of people confused Confused, shocked, and even disgusted, they all started sharing their thoughts on Taylor and why he should be canceled and held accountable for his actions. By not him making excuses, shifting blame, and denying the seriousness of this topic, especially after his actions. Mans want to stay relevant so bad and still has the mind of an ignorant prepubescent. Nobody deserves to be misgendered or harassed for being yourself. I don't support Nikita, but no one deserves this nasty treatment. I do see what you think about Nikita, but this was disgusting. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Taylor Caniff making transphobic comments towards Nikita Dragon? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions about it down in the comments below. I love you so much.